What's up everybody? So we're back on the shop with another Shop Talk Tuesday and in this episode I'm going to show you all some of the projects that I've been working on in the background. Some of them are Damascus, some of them are different things that I think y'all are really going to like so make sure y'all watch this video. Plus we're going to be recapping some of the Texas Select event show stuff. Now if you don't know anything about the Texas Select show it's like the largest amount of Forged and Fire champions and participants to that ever come together so uh, there's a whole bunch of that which is really cool I'm gonna do a little bit of a recap of the show it's probably not a show that a lot of y'all really know about so I'm gonna do some of that but we're gonna start off with cool stuff that you get to see for one I'm just gonna go straight into the Damascus stuff okay so this is one of the projects that I just finished for the show this is a raindrop Damascus with a similar profile to my medium sized EDC that I do, it's just slightly changed a little bit with some awesome curly maple on there. Uh, look at the chatoyance and the banding in that. That is just absolutely awesome. We did black pins, so one pin here, lanyard hole there, and then a tree of life pin in the center. Just a good size EDC with the lanyard. Got that one wrapped up. And then, one of my favorite ones, is this right here. This is a ladder Damascus, so a ladder pattern right there. Look at how awesome that Damascus looks. Going all the way up into the swedge right there. Another tree of life, same pin setup, just a slightly different profile. That just feels so good in the hand, and I love the acid green burl that we have on there. Black liners on both this one and the one with the raindrop. And then I etched the whole entire spine and tang so you can see the pattern all the way down it. So we got that one done. And then, before I jump into the other three, we're gonna go with the small EDC that I did. This little guy. I don't do many of these. I, I do them every once in a while. This is out of ADC RV2. This is just a small, simple, still a full hand knife perfect for carving and just having an EDC with you in a nice little sheath that is set up for any type of clip that you can put on here. It's one inch centers so you can do whatever type of clip you want to do and the nice satisfying click into there. No shaking, no rattling. So that's perfect. Now when it comes to the other three little sheath set up for them these look absolutely awesome this is like a small tip pecan a lot of people picked this one up a lot of people liked it and this is my medium sized EDC I made three of these I technically you've made a couple more of them but they've already sold but it's just a good profile Got a little bit of a, what I call a pinky choil right there. It fits your hand nicely. Good profile. The whole point behind this profile is if you need to cut open a box or something, typically with the drop point, it has a big sweep up to the tip. This, you barely have to point it down to be able to cut through tape or to cut a box open or any of that. The tip is dropped down quite a bit. Still have a little bit of a rocking motion, which is really, really good. All these EDCs have lanyards. I'll show you one of the other ones. So this right here with the darker handle material. And then this one which is one of my favorites you can really see the Buckeye burl on that but that right there really 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 like that I like all the figure in that wood now these three were made with the Willie's Jeep leaf spring that I use to make all of my knives. I only sell knives made out of that still every once in a while. I like to hoard it. I make swords out of it. I make a bunch of different stuff. I've made a wakazashi that I've used to cut 
branches and trees and all kinds of stuff. I've only ever had to leather strop it. I've never resharpened it. I've only ever done those things and it still shaves. I've had it for two years. I've cut so many things with it and I've only ever leather stropped it. Amazing edge retention. Love that stuff, but typically I keep it for myself. So these that I've shown you plus a few more are gonna be on the website when this video releases. So if you wanna go check them out, theriversexperience.com. I'm gonna have a link for it in the description below if you wanna go you know, pick something up. All of them are gonna be on there, so go check them out. Now, when it comes to kind of recapping the actual show, there's a couple of things that I really liked about this show. They had little setups to where people could actually forge there. So they had like little classes or kind of to where you could kind of forge your own knife. I'm going to pop one up on the screen right now as I'm talking. This was one of the ones where they were taking a lot of people. They, they did have kids there that they were teaching, but they were letting pretty much anybody from any age come over, forge a knife out of a horseshoe and get something set up there so they could forge it they could see the grinding of the bevels and all of that stuff which was really cool these were just little neck knives that they were making but it was a really cool experience and it wasn't just this one booth they had several things set up like this plus they had like a canister damascus class with jay nielsen and uh shelly they they had a thing with David Baker where he was doing his sword demonstrations and stuff like that plus they had the chopping challenge which was really 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 cool and I just thought it was a really cool show one of my favorite parts about this particular show is I know so many people who go to this one now this was my first year at this show and I really wish that I would have been going prior to this because so many makers that I'm friends with participate in this show and exhibit at this show and I think it's so dang cool to be able to just go down there and hang out. And of course, I was able to take my wife, Nisha, with me. She worked the table with me. She got to see what it was like to actually go to a show where people actually wanted to take pictures with me and shake my hand and tell stories about them learning things from me. So it was really cool for her to be able to experience that aspect of my life. And she really liked it. She thought it was awesome. So I thought that was really cool. Now, a couple of the things that I got while I was at this show. Now one, I got myself a tank top from uh, the old two bastards. I got myself a, a tank top for there, which I love. I wear a lot of tank tops. I'm always hot, so it's really cool to have tank tops. And uh, if any of y'all have brands and you also have tank tops for them, feel free to send them to me. Now, a couple of things that I got I didn't really spend much money. I did get a couple of blocks of wood. I got some Gigi because I've got a commission build that I'm working with that. And I got a couple other things. But the, the two big things that I've been wanting are these two guys. So, y'all know that Two Bastards Hammers Forge, they, uh, they sponsor the channel. I've been wanting this dog head for a while. He actually finished it and brought it down. So we got a Two Bastards dog head. That hammer is absolutely beautiful. The handle is beautiful. All the facets with the gun bluing all the way around it is just absolutely beautiful. That is gonna be a blast to use on the channel. So I got a dog's head hammer. He doesn't make many of them. He only makes those here and there. But he does make a lot of other hammers and I'm gonna show you all a few of those. But then I also got this rounding hammer. Mark Ling and Two Bastards collaboration. Really cool setup right here. Nice rounding hammer, of course, flat side, round side. Great looking handle. This right here, I'm gonna be using this a lot on the channel. I'm gonna be switching it up. I'm gonna be primarily using mostly Frank's hammers. So of course, we have this guy right here, if y'all have seen it. Look at how beautiful that thing is with those big facets on it. The Two Bastards logo right there. This is a over five pound cross peen. What about the size of my head and then this hammer. <laughs> so I've got that from him. I've used that in the channel a few times. The one that I've used the most, of course, is this one right here. This is a straight peen that I use to do all of my integral bolsters. Now I will be doing 
a lot of them with this one right here, which is the cross peen, straight peen. Again, look at all the facets on this with that gun bluing. That is one of the most beautiful hammers. I mean, just the amount of work that goes into making this hammer look that beautiful is just crazy because it's just a hammer to some people. It's a huge thing to me. But two bastards, I have links for their stuff all in the description below. The cool thing about them is you can actually see them at shows. They sponsor a lot of events. They sponsor a lot of shows. Plus, if you need a hammer, typically you got to just wait for the person to be making hammers at that time and then hopefully purchase one of the hammers that they have available. With Frank and Nita, you can message them, get in contact with them, and they will actually ask you what, you ha what do you have right now. Okay, you have this, you have that. Okay, maybe you can modify this or that to get the hammer you want instead of just trying to sell you what the heck ever. Or they'll say, hey, maybe you need this style of hammer. And then they'll either make it for you or they'll help you figure out where to get it. That is something that is just super awesome about Frank and Nita. They are just a blessing to have within the knife community. And I really enjoy using their hammers. I've got five right now. I plan on having a lot more by the time this year is over with. But it's really cool having them as a channel sponsor. And they're a real channel sponsor. So it's not like... They just give me hammers or anything like that. Like this one right here, I bought that hammer. This was a collaboration hammer. I didn't just get this hammer for free. I spent money on this. Didn't get a discount on it. I spent the full price on this hammer. And it was absolutely worth it to me. But the cool thing is they're an actual paid sponsor. They're actually helping out the channel. And I love them for that. Because for one, I love them as people, but I love them for doing that. Now, I do have another sponsor, which of course isn't really a paid sponsor, but that's Vivor. They've sent me a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try and put out a video this week of me using a set of tongs. By set, I mean three. They sent me three uh, sets of tongs, and I'm gonna be using them and showing y'all what it's like to use a set of inexpensive tongs from a place like Vivor. So I'm gonna have that video out. We're gonna forge a knife only using their tongs and of course using Frank's hammers. Now. What other things that I thought were really cool about this show is how welcoming people were. Sometimes you might go to a show here and there and people are kind of standoffish a little bit, but everyone at this show was super welcoming. They wanted to talk to everybody about everything and it was just a blast to be there and experience it. And I'm so happy that I got to experience this first show you know at this event with my wife i thought that was really 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 cool and nisha absolutely loved it she got to meet so many people that i talked to at all of these different shows and i just had such a blast being there now think about it if y'all are in the texas area next year whenever they host this show i'm gonna do videos leading up to it make sure y'all try and make it down there because y'all are really gonna like it now of course, I made a whole bunch of knives prepping for this show, and I was able to sell a bunch of them. One of my favorite knives that I was able to sell, I'm going to pop it a her up on the screen. So this wonderful lady right here bought the World of Warcraft knife for the WoW knife, and it was just awesome communicating with her. Now, typically I don't give my sketches with the knives, but for her... I am going to be sending her the original sketches that I did for that knife, which is going to be really cool. She's going to frame it and put it up on the wall and do all that stuff, which I think is just absolutely amazing. And I'm going to send her all the sketches so that she can have all of that. Definitely one of the most enthusiastic people who picked up any of my knives. She just walked up and she was just like, how did I not see this? This is absolutely amazing. And she purchased that knife. Now, of course, that was a very expensive knife. It's one of the most expensive knives that I, it is the most expensive knife I've ever sold. And it's going to be so cool that it's going to go to a person who collects things like that, and who's absolutely going to appreciate it and enjoy it. You know, she's going to use it and have some fun with it and then put it up. So I think that's really, really, really cool. And I want to thank her again for just 
picking up something that is part of the history of my channel. So that was really cool. Plus, we had people buy several EDCs and things like that. And I really want to thank anybody who came down. Thank anybody who actually purchased something from me. That was really awesome. Now, like I said, I am going to be doing a video this week of me forging with utilizing those tongs that I got from Vivor. So it's going to be a Vivor sponsored video. And I've got to focus a ton on getting this viking challenge completed so i'm going to be doing a lot of focus on that making sure that i can get that done plus we'll be forging this weekend saturday 6 30 p.m central time if you want to come by and forge something with me you absolutely can i invite you to come hang out guys that is the end of this video remember or remember make sure go by river uh, the rivers experience.com you know what I mean, all those things I've been talking for a while. TheRiversExperience.com. And go check out some of the knives that I have on there. Maybe scoop something up. Maybe a shirt. Maybe a cup. I don't know. Get something. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. And I'll catch y'all next time. Yeah.